so last summer, uh, me and a couple of mates decided to go down to Mount Olympus in a busted up uh, Golf 1. This is how it went. So, we started our adventure in the infamous Paralia. It is infamous because it is basically a Serb vacation destination in Greece, and it acts more as a Serbian colony than an actual city. And it's not really a city, it's a principality. We rented a hotel room, not even a hotel room, just a room. Uh, and that was kind of our base. From there on, we uh, explored Greece, and this particular day, we went to Olympus, which, whoo, lad, uh, best mountain, 10 out of 10. Uh, that way, we went uh, on the Greek highway, which is filled with tolls. I swear to God, we had to pay like two euros every 15 minutes, uh, there and back. It's ridiculous. But once we got off the highway, uh, we started climbing up the mountain, which had a million curves. It was just something else. So as soon as you arrive there, you're met with breathtaking views of the mountain. Just look at it. There's a reason Greeks used to find this place as a holy site. And while climbing the mountain, you're surrounded with THICK forest all around you. And I mean THICK. I grew up in Wisconsin and man, you was forests have nothing on this. I feel like the Greek Pocahontas. Just going around, touching every tree, every spirit, every boulder has a name. Yeah, at one point me and my friends got separated and um, I got lost, so... You know that part in Skyrim <clears throat> where uh, you find out you're dragonborn and you have to climb this mountain with uh, 1,000 steps? Yeah, this is kind of like that. Except you're not the dragonborn, you're just a tourist. Day three, my friends have abandoned me. I'm all, all alone on Mount Olympus. No soul in sight. Just me and the mountain. I really fucking hope it's at the top of this goddamn mountain are a bunch of bearded men who are gonna teach me how to shout that I throw away people off cliffs. <sighs> so yeah, that wasn't all too fun. Uh, but anyways, we kind of met up later, and then we started to pretend we are cavemen. Mm. Brate, ovde su živeli pećinski ljudi. <laughs> pećinski čovek. Brate. Koliko miš da je ovde zev skaro ljudi? Pod pećinu, jop! It wouldn't be a living ironically in Europe video without something educational. So here, on Mount Olympus there lived uh, 12 Greek gods, except for Hades, uh, that boy was the god of the underworld, so he resided down under. No, not Australia, you know, the underworld, no, still not Australia. Anyways, uh, basically he readily went to Olympus because he had shit to take care of back at home. So the gods met daily at Zeus's place in the Pantheon, where they held feasts and discussed the fate of the mortals. Mm. Uh, there they drank nectar and ate ambrosia, delicious, which uh, perpetuated their immortality. Allegedly, when the gods drank ambrosia, the blood in their veins was replaced with ichor, a substance toxic to humans. Ichor also ran through the veins of Talos, the Greek giant automaton. And apparently there exists a group called Return of the Hellens, which is a religious group that wants to revive ancient Greek religion and mythology. So they gather at the foot of the mountain and celebrate Prometheus. And they celebrate him by dressing up in ancient war gear and running up the mountain. And they also name their children by names of ancient Greek gods. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. 
and uh, stay tuned. My name is Nick and you watched Living Ironically in Europe.